Uh, we plead the church with the peace of the Lord. I say all church because because if there is any visitors, you you are from the church, amen. Because we didn't get here for just any other reason, but Jesus brought you here, and by faith. We are proclaiming, we're saying that you didn't come here by accident. I invite the church to stand up at a time so we can open the, the, the word of the Lord. Uh, Genesis, the first book of the Bible. It's going to be Genesis. And we have here the workers, the, they're going to be here helping the church, you know. Because we we are a body. We are a body. Okay. Have you ever thought you have to take a medicine because you have a pain all the way on your toe. But you need to take the medicine so you can get better on the stomach the blood for the medicine to go all the way to your soul you, you gotta take that alright so let's open in Genesis 26 it says the word of the Lord there was a a famine in the land besides the first famine there was in the first days of Abraham Abraham and Isaac went to Abai, Abimelech, king of the Philistines, in Gerah. Then the Lord appeared to him and said, Do not go down to Egypt. Live in the land of which I shall tell you to. Dwell in this land, and I will be with you and bless you. For you and your descendants, I give all the lands, and I'll perform the oath which I swore to Abraham, your father. And I'll make your descendants multiply as the stars of heaven. I will give to you and to your descendants all the lands. And in your seed, all the nations of the earth shall be blessed, because because Abraham obeyed my voice and kept my chair and kept my charge, my commands, my institute, and my laws. So Isaac, the well, and Gerard, the brothers may be seated. <coughs> so, we, we were just reading, you know, what the Lord wanted to, to tell us. I, my brothers, the word of the Lord, the speak. Um, about a call it was when Jesus called Abraham oh it was Abraham it wasn't Abraham yet so he called Abraham this land so there was Abraham with his wife his dad and his family and the Lord one day he called him uh, the interesting part is that the Mesopotamia, Mesopotamia over there with the Philistines it was a, a pagan a pagan uh, city so they had many gods 
when he believes. Because the man in his inside, he always had the necessity to connect himself with something that will send something. Because the man, he lost the connection right over there in the, the Garden of Aiden. The connection that he had with God. You know, just like Wi-Fi, you know, when he lost connection. He didn't need that because he had, he could go and talk directly to God. And the man loses this connection. So he gets thrown away from the project. And it says, so there was man in the earth before anything else. So the story repeats itself. It, it repeats itself. Relations pass by. Generations will start. And the story will continue. And sometimes it will repeat itself. So Abraham, he was right there in that land in Mesopotamia. No one had ever ever uh, evangelized him. Spoke about God. At least the word doesn't say anything about that. The word of registers and says that he heard the voice of the Lord. For, for him to listen to the voice of the Lord. Then yes. Then they're going to go to a garden. Or a field. To imagine. Because he was. And. He wanted to have an experience. A different experience. Right. Because maybe for sure. He had already seen uh, the other gods, the gods that didn't speak, that had eyes but it didn't see, had mouth but didn't speak. But Abraham, Abraham, he saw, he wanted an experience with the Lord that will speak with him that could give him the direction he didn't want to stay there in the same sin. because the salvation because the project of the Lord calls men it's not for him to stay there doing the same thing it's not for him to to live experiences from the past, but he needs to live each moment a new experience with the Lord. So every morning he could wake up and hear the voice of the Lord, and that was it. What Abraham wanted, and Abraham. He he left that to Isaac, because as you as you brothers know the story, because the Lord promised him a son, he's the son of the promise, and Isaac was born. Abraham was already old. Right? He didn't believe in those moments. He. There's some stuff wrong. He didn't have faith. But faith is the Lord. And Paul writes saying, Even though we are unfaithful, the Lord will stay faithful, faithful with us. Because His project cannot stop. Because what God promises, He does it. 
it doesn't it doesn't matter the the weakness the limitations but the Lord called his faithful to complete his work his project in our lives All right so so Abraham so Isaac was born from Abraham Isaac was born and then Jacob but that's another story All right so Isaac was born the name Isaac the meaning is laugh he came in a moment of many unsureness so it was right there laugh it was something good for that family so Isaac he was the son of the promise so the word of the Lord says that there was hunger those days of Abraham and because of that there was Isaac and Alibelech the king of the Philistines so the Saul so the Saul said oh look my brother so your dad so he's he had many experiences with the Lord and until there I I went because God was with them and God was with me and your mom we went through difficult moments but there was nothing but we didn't miss the, your deliverance so so it was Isaac to so Abimelech the king of the Philistines and when they were in the way so they went, when they were on the way, uh, the Lord said, don't go, don't go to Egypt. Look how Jesus cared uh, for his sons, the sons of the promise. Because Isaac, we are also uh, sons of the promise. Me and you, we are children of the promise. Because one day, the Lord also called us. Because one day, there was hunger in the earth, and one day, we were not even needed, and we had no, nowhere to go, we were hungry, and everything that we, we did it was good for us, but the hunger of our soul, there was nothing that could fulfill that we used to go to places trying to find uh, things moments of happiness moments to moments of happiness to fulfill so we could have some kind of mini in this life because many in this life they're without a mini without their action many look and things that are mature things but when he went when he was going to the king of the Philistines he said look don't go to Egypt don't go to Egypt And stay in the land that I'll guide you. Because 
because God, he has a project for the life of Isaac. So, there is nothing that men could do. And why wouldn't he go down looking for resources in this life? I'm gonna lead, read right here, Hebrews. Where it says about, where it talks about faith. Let's read right here, Hebrews 11. I say. Now faith is the substance of the of th things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hebrews 11 first. So Isaac there, even being the son of Abraham, because Sometimes we think, oh, son of Christian, he's Christian. No, that's not how it works. The um, children of Christian, maybe sometimes they're not Christian. But he could see the experiences of their parents. And by the praying of his dad, his parents, the Lord revealed himself to him. I remember um, a youth that he, when he was adolescent, he spent all his adolescent years in church because their parents, uh, his parents used to, to bring him to the church, you know, he depended on their parents and all those teachings stayed on him, you know. When they got him to the point of the age of youthness, he left the church. When he was a youth, he left the church. But now he's a he's a worker, and sometimes he tells his experiences. And then he said that one day that he he was inside of a club. A real club and it was a place of lights because the enemy he doesn't show himself ugly no if he show himself ugly many will run away from him he shows himself like looking nice with lights many things And that youth, he he tells that one of those days that he was there and the early dawn, in the middle of all that people, all the party, he heard a voice, go to the bathroom and there, I want to talk to you. And then he, he got scared. Like all the party, all the, all the songs. And then he's like, What do you think? I drank a little too much. Let me hear anything. But no, it wasn't. It was the voice of the Lord. Because though his parents were right there praying for him. And there he went to the bathroom. Because that voice spoke to him. And when he got into the bathroom, he said, the voice said, Now you're going to do it now. And then he said, I'm not understanding this. I don't get it. And he kneeled down. And when he kneeled down, 
He saw fire coming down on him. And he said, I have to leave this place as fast as I can. And there, he left that place and he never went back. Never went back to the city of Egypt. So the word of God says, don't go down in Egypt, but live in the land that I sent you. Right? Even in front of the, the world, with so, so many things, but we, we have a safe place to be in, a safe place is the house of the Lord, and I live in the house of the Lord with the gift of salvation. And are you frequently coming in this place, the house of the Lord? Oh, so I'm only blessed if I go to church. Many ask those questions. Many argue. But here is the land that the Lord told you to come. This is a safe place. This is the place where God is going to talk to you and talk to your heart. So Isaac, don't go out to Egypt. Live in the land that I sent you to. Everyone here had this experience when we were in the ship. And the Lord found this wonderful land for us. That is, that is to be in His presence. And go by this land and I'll bless you. I'll bless you because to you and to your seed I'll give all those lands and I'll do the same thing that I did to your dad because and we only got here because of the prayers of our parents and all of our seeds, they're going to be blessed by the Lord. And I'll multiply the seeds of the earth just like I did with the stars. stars. And all things will be blessed. So Abraham, he listened to my voice and he kept my law, my attitudes, and just like Isaac lived in those ends. So everything here was by faith. Two fundamental things in the life of a Christian is the obedience and faith. So there's no meaning for a Christian to have faith if he doesn't obey. So we're talking about faith. It's not a faith, uh, how can we say, a timed. It's not a new kind of faith. No, we're talking about faith, eternal faith. A faith that one day it came down from the earth, from the heavens. It lived and lives with us. He, he had done his project for three years. He died, resurrected three days after. I went back to the Father. 
So the faith is Jesus. Because the word says Jesus is the altar of, of, of our faith. Altar and finisher of our faith. We have to obey Jesus in our walk. Is it easy? Is it easy? Sometimes not. Sometimes some weakness. Uh, this questioning. Sometimes they're not sure. But it's here. The land that you live that you will get food so you can have more faith so your faith can be re renewed so your faith can be can get strength because the faith only gets stronger on the body so there's no, so it doesn't matter if you have faith but you don't have body so obey so this is the word that the Lord has for us tonight and we are in Isaac the children the children's of faith and for you too there's a promise a promise a eternal promise a wonderful promise and Jesus will be faithful for your life until the day that you take that you take out to the eternal life amen let's sing another song
Amen. Hallelujah. The question is, God, the Lord, had shown in your way, just like he appeared over there to Isaac. God, is he directing your life? And the Lord says also, and I'll confirm my judgment. He has confirmed what he has promised to your heart. We're going to leave this place here tonight with these two questions. What if I have been in the name of the Lord? I have had the church to stand up this time. The Lord shown um, that He was uh, refreshing our hearts because they were kind of no kind of troubles, and the Lord is refreshing, you know, giving comfort to ourselves. The Lord also shown that He's blessing um, a couple, just like the word right here says, "I'll bless your seed," and. And you will be answered. So the Lord called us. So we could live a life. Of blessings. The, the struggles. They will usually come. They will also. Grow up. But the, uh, but the Lord. He's the one that's going to get up in our favor. Because there is no other fight that the Lord won't win. Because we can listen to His voice. And by following the direction of the Lord, when we are the obedience and the faith, for sure, we'll feel the blessings of the Lord. And we'll be, we'll, we'll, we'll be blessed. Because on that day, that wonderful day, that the Lord will come in the clouds. He'll say, Come, holy from my Father. We're holy. In Isaac, Abraham, we are holy. We are blessed. In this land, there is so many bad, bad things. This world that is given, we are separated. You, my brother, you are blessed. And we cannot leave this blessing to that's away from us because salvation. It depends on the Lord. But the only the only one that can judge says we have the privilege to listen the voice of the Lord to follow the direction of the Lord. You're free. The Lord doesn't put anything in front of us. But if you hear the voice of the Lord you will eat just like the fruit of this earth. So let's pray finishing this up. Oh Lord we thank you. We thank you and we pray your name because one day just like you call Abraham you blessed Isaac today, Lord. We'll be here. One day you call us, Lord, to be 
children of a promise. A promise not terrain, but eternal. That's why we we thank you for living in this wonderful promise to know that you have guided us in difficult moments of our lives to you we thank you we know that you have spoken to, spoken to our hearts you have directed our lives that's why we thank you because every place that we are it could be in the in Brazil could be in the United States you will find a land for us to live in. Glorify in the name of the Lord. Because you're wonderful. And we are so small in front of you. But you, Lord, you have remembered us. Glorify be your name. Just stay with us. In the name of the Lord, we thank you. Amen. The brothers may be seated. So we're in the end of the service. Is there any anything to say? So we're gonna have a uh, uh, Lord's Supper tomorrow at 10:30. Good morning. The supper is not only for the supper of the Lord is not only for the church. It is for the Lord. It is for everyone who's. Uh, the fellowship, those who have bat baptized, and everyone's invited to come here and to enjoy this blessing that the Lord has prepared for us. My brother, my pastor, I'll also, re also remind uh, the seminar that we're going to have at 20, 24th of March, the seminar of the kids, the children's seminar, uh, 24th. 10 a.m. So everyone could be involved in this event. Alright. Uh, peace the Lord to everyone.